Diagnosing misfires, especially on coil-on-plug vehicles, can sometimes be tricky. Now we have a test inside the guided component test on snap-on tools that is based on a Ford test from the factory. It's called a coil current RFI test. Let's walk through how to do it on this Focus. All right, so as I said, this is inside guided component test on the tool. So uh, I already have the vehicle loaded before, so I'm just going to go into previous vehicles, go into my history. There it is. And then once I load into the vehicle, we can see all the systems we can test. And of course, that's in the engine for the ignition. I'm going to scroll down to the ignition system here. And that is a secondary test. And there's that, there it is right there, coil current RFI test. Now it says a component test meter or equivalent can be used to examine ignition coil RF noise using a low current amp probe. Look for RF noise in the ignition current waveform while stressing the ignition system to detect a faulty coil during this test. Look at the current waveform microscopically. Zoom in on the waveform at very high resolution to accomplish this. So it's already going to set us up for that. So it says we need to take our low amp probe, connect it to the tool, already is. It's actually already connected to the vehicle as well. And then it says clamp the current probe around the body, battery positive side of the control side. Uh, do not clamp around both, so one or the other. So we have it around the power side right here. And uh, we need to take the coil out and flip it over, make sure it's not arcing on anything around. Uh, so once it's all set up, we can hit view meter. It's going to set it up for us. And then I'll have my helper over here start up the vehicle. And there we go. There's my pattern. Just move it over there a little bit, let it settle. And then we'll hit stop. All right, and we can turn off the car now. Don't want to leave it running for too long without a coil in the hole. Uh, so we can see here's my pattern. This is going to tell me what kind of noise I have going on. Now, this is an example of a good pattern up here on the screen. So we can see we don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of up and down down here. It's, it's fairly smooth. And on this one, it is fairly smooth as well. Now, you'll notice there's another bump here. And that's because it's a multi-strike coil. So when it's at idle, it's going to fire multiple times. So we will see a couple different current spikes in there. But we're, what we're looking for is down here in the in-between and after the uh, second firing there. So if it was bad, though, there's an example here where you see there's a lot more noise and there's a lot more current flow going through there than on the good coils. So a quick and easy way to help test those pesky ignition coils.